Today is a very special day. We drove two hours outside of Kathmandu to come to this area called Namu Buddha. And here there is a monastery up in the mountains where they have guest houses. So we are going to stay here overnight and learn a bit more about Buddhism and spend some time with the monks that live here. <laughs> It's so much fresher up here and it's cold. It is cold <laughs> yeah, and it's it getting cold. Looks like it's going to rain. But that would be good though. Clears up the sky a bit. Can you actually see yeah, a yeah. lot of mountains from yeah, here? Yeah. Not just here, even from my workplace you can see like 180. Wow. For those of you who haven't watched any of our other videos that we filmed in Nepal, this is our friend Nima. Hello, Nima. Hello. <laughs> Namaste. He's been really kind to show us Kathmandu, and this time he took us over here to Namu Buddha and helped us arrange the monastery stay and going to spend a day with us here as well. I'll give you a room tour of our simple room here in the monastery. So when you walk in, you have the washroom over here toilet, the shower, everything you need, and then there's also a big wardrobe here for you to put your stuff. A table here maybe for you to do some learning if you're interested to learn about Buddhism while you're here. It's nice. I like that they give us so much space <laughs> because sometimes space is what we need in a marriage. <laughs> It's really nice and it's very comfortable. It's very, very clean. And we pay 3,500 rupees per night. And it also includes, right here it says, three meals. So breakfast at seven, lunch at noon, and dinner at six or seven, depends on if it's summer or winter. And also two prayer sessions. And all of these are with the monks. So we'll take our guest pass and then we just go over to, I guess, like the dining hall and have our meals. And tomorrow they have a big prayer ceremony at six in the morning. And because it is the 10th day of the Tibetan month, it will be an even bigger prayer session than usual. One thing I noticed though, that it's so quiet. It is so quiet. <laughs> We actually have the side that doesn't have the view of the mountains because that side's booked out. There's actually tourists coming here to study Buddhism, to spend time with the monks here, to learn more about you know their religion. So they come and stay for sometimes weeks. And yeah, they booked out the side with the views, but it's okay. We got to see it anyways from yeah. the rooftop. So the story behind why Namo Buddha is such a sacred place is because thousands of years ago something happened here. You can see behind me here. This is the Buddha in a previous life. He wandered away from his family and into a forest where he encountered a tigress and her five cubs and they were starving and the tigress was so weak she was near the brink of death and at that moment he had so much compassion for her and her cubs that he decided he wanted to sacrifice his own life for her and her children. And this is the story of his compassion. And when he reincarnated, he became the Buddha that most of us now know as the Buddha, the enlightened one. And it happened somewhere around here. And that's how you see this imagery all over the monastery here. Real quick, 
One of the main reasons we love to travel is because it sparks our curiosity to learn more about the world. And another way we like to expand our knowledge is through reading, which brings us to today's video sponsor, Blinkist. It is an app that enables you to understand the most important things from over 6,500 nonfiction books and podcasts in just 15 minutes. It has been the perfect travel companion for us as we don't always have the time or patience to finish a book. Spending time at Namu Buddha really sparked my interest to read The Art of Happiness by His Holiness the Dalai Lama. Just as we've learned here how Buddha was compassionate to a tigress, this book also dived deeper into how cultivating compassion through empathy is the way to a healthier and happier life. Blinkist also has a cool feature called Spaces where I can invite friends and family and they will also get access to Blinkist for free. So I created a space with note where I can share titles that will help us grow together. I personally enjoy reading the Blinks but Note prefers to listen to the Blinks while he's doing other things. You can get a 7 day free trial and 25% off Blinkist annual premium by clicking our link in the description. Thanks again to Blinkist for sponsoring this video. Should we sit here? Best seat in the monastery. Mm -hmm. yeah. So what are we having note? We're having masala tea. Oh, oh, it's it's so good. Yeah. good. You know, I usually don't drink tea with milk, yeah. but masala tea in Nepal has been amazing. Mm. Yeah. We forgot to cheers. 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 Oh, this guy's clearing up. Mm -hmm. wow. The mountains here are so beautiful. They stack. Yeah. yeah. It's like a watercolor painting. Mm -hmm. It's like different <clears throat> depths, different colors. So in Nepal, when we say hello to people, we would say namaste and you're supposed to hold your hand together and go namaste. But at the monastery here, when we see the monk, we don't say nam uh, namaste. We say dashi, dashi delik. delik and you do the same. Dashi delik. And we will put that into practice when we see the monks later. It's commonly used by the people living in the mountains. So, oh. so those who have a Buddhist uh, background, they would say Tash Would you but say it to other people, not just monks in the mountains? Yeah, you can say that. Yeah, I, oh. I, I say that to my parents also. I say that to everyone. But uh, if I were to say that to my Hindu friends, they wouldn't understand. Mm. Oh. So to Hindu friends, I say Namaste. Yes. Yeah. So the reason why we are staying here at Namo Buddha monastery for a night and also being able to film a little bit to show you is because Nima knows this monastery really well. I would come here uh, often to receive blessing from our uh, masters. So we would come once in a while to receive his blessing and visit monastery and attend special prayer ceremony. Mm -hmm. It's 5.30 and because right now it's summertime, dinner is at 7 o'clock. So later on we will go and join the monks for dinner. I'm quite excited for that because I've never really been in the presence of a lot of monks oh, okay. before. I was gonna ask you that. In Thailand, females are not allowed to be close to monks. Is it the same here? It's not like it's not like that. Can you stand close together yeah, like yeah, this? Yeah. Oh okay. Because in Thailand you need to maintain certain distance away from the monks. Today we have a special treat. Let's see what we have for dinner. Hi, we have this the Buddhist uh, cheese chili. They call cheese this, chili? Yeah, emmandazi. It's a very traditional food, Buddhist food. Very oh. spicy. Cheese and chili. The young monk, he made emmandazi. <laughs> <laughs> so wow. it would be, be spicy, right? Yeah, very spicy. It depends, actually. Is it very spicy? Yes, it is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we really need spicy tonight. It's cold. Spicy, delicious. Yeah, and then there you go. This is wow. noodle, vegetarian noodle. And we have some eggs on top of it. And this dish is tukpa? Tukpa, yeah. Tukpa. This will be your dinner tonight. Looks amazing. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> is it your first time eating together like this? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a very, very cozy oh, yeah. home here. 
and we are just really lucky to be able to eat together with the monks here tomorrow though we will join them for a meal in the main dining hall so we'll get to experience a different setting tomorrow It is really perfect. We were sitting downstairs in the cafe, mm -hmm. having some tea, you know, like, oh, it's getting colder and colder. Uh -huh. So we were really excited for this. <laughs> Red chili is all the way from Bhutan. Oh. It could be spicy, so. So note, and I went to the same school, mm. but he was a first international student uh -huh. from Thailand to go abroad. Yeah, abroad yeah. And then so I, I went to that same school I never two years that after. Oh, Chili and cheese impressed. would mix this good. Mm. Mm. <laughs> this is so comforting. Mm. <laughs> So the breakfast is the steam bun and the bean soup and we also get some Tibetan tea. Tibetan tea is like a salty broth. There's some butter, there's some salt in there. It does taste more like a soup than a tea, but this is a tea that would keep you warm in the cold weather like today. I'm waiting for more peanut butter. <laughs> it's actually really good with the bun. Oh, oh, I missed that one. I got distracted and peanut butter walked right past me. How was that experience? you it was quite special just sitting there listening to them feeling the drums the beat the and rhythm. it kind of vibrates into your heart also just like watching all the monks pray and they pray in different ways mm -hmm. like the little monks can't concentrate so they're kind of moving around hitting each other a little <laughs> bit very curious as to why we're there and then you get the older monks who are more disciplined. Some are snapping, some are swaying their bodies. Like there's many different ways that they're getting into the rhythm of the prayer. It's a very different experience that I have had before in mm. Thailand. In Thailand, we usually don't have instruments. Oh. But here, the, the chanting is more upbeat. It has only been one night, but we feel like we learned so much about Buddhism. Mm -hmm. And open to learning more about it's not just like it's a religion, it's more like moral principles, a way of life that 
you know, anyone who's interested to learn about can utilize in their life. And if you're interested in having the same experience staying here at the monastery, we'll leave the information in the description box below so you can have the same wonderful experience as we had. And all the proceeds go towards the education of the young monks. So it's for a very good cause. If you're interested, make sure to come to Nepal and visit Namo Buddha Monastery. Thanks again for watching and as always, have a wonderful day. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bloopers! In Thailand, you don't have to be a monk, but a lot of young people become a monk to say thank you to their mom. But for me, I was a monk because I got paid to do so. Isn't that attachment <laughs> to money yeah. and materialism? Yeah. <laughs> defeating the purpose. <laughs> it did defeat the purpose, but I was too young yeah. to understand. All I wanted just 300 baht to go play games. <laughs> your, your, your mom was okay with that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> kind of see the mist floating on yeah. top of the hill. But can you imagine on a sunny day? Like the, the clouds above, the below you. One of the shots. <laughs> what are you guys saying? <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> I'm imagining. Yeah. Is I'm it imagining. Too early? <laughs>